Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is JT from Above and Below the Belt. I want to talk about Ortiz versus Alexander Pavekin. I mean, this is not a fight that's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be uh, this year or nothing like that. I just was thinking about uh, these two are kind of similar to each other. I mean, as in, um, uh, as in their records and stuff like that. Let me let me break it down. These two, I I, I would love to see these two fight. That's why I'm kind of talking about these two at the same time. Um, Louis, Louis Louis Ortiz is six foot three three in inches. He's reached a seventy eight inch reach. He's Cuban. He's thirty nine years old. He, he's softball. His total fights are 32. Wins is 29 wins. Knockouts is 25 knockouts. One loss and two no contests. And uh, he won the silver medal at the 2005 Boxing World uh, Cup. His nickname is King Kong. <laughs> and he's got uh, good punching power and counter punching skills. And let me see, Alexander Pavekin, um, six foot two inches, uh, seventy-five inch reach, Russian, thirty-nine years old, orthodox. His total fights is thirty-six fights, thirty-four wins, and twenty-five—I mean, twenty-four knockouts and two losses. And um, and. Pavekin, uh, his amateur, he won a gold medal in the Super European, I mean the Super Heavyweight Division at 2004 Olympics. Go at 2003 World Championships. Cons consecutive go at the 2002 and 2004 European Championships. So, um, they got, I, I would love to see these two fight. Now, a lot of people might say, well, um, Ortiz might win or or beat him whatever or knock him out whatever some people might say this on the on this side of the on this side of the uh ocean and some people might say uh that uh alexander perveca might win you know um i think this would be a pretty good uh interesting um uh, interesting um uh, fight you know do i do i see it going a distance no i don't see it going a distance somebody will get knocked out that's what i'm thinking i could be wrong but i don't know i think it i think um I think it's not going to go to distance at the same time. But I would love to see this fight again at this, you know. And, uh, because these, these guys are very similar to each other. I mean, of course, Ortiz is a, a, a softball and Alexander Pavekin is a, a orthodox, uh, fighter. And, um, and both of them are from different countries. They, they don't speak no English. Uh, they up in age. They're 39 years old. And, uh, both of them was caught using, um, PEDs or steroids, whatever. Uh, some substance, and um, I and you know what I know y'all gonna probably uh, say something about what I'm about to say or get get at me, uh, but I think that man, I think shoot at the same time if they was if they was caught against uh, taking steroids, I, if they fighting each other, I don't they need to take no tests. They need to just go at it. You know what I'm saying? I would love, I would love to see them fight, um, but you know one thing is Ortiz like uh, like. Like I said, he's a he's a counter puncher. He got good power. He's got good skills, man. Uh, uh, Alexander got some good skills too. He 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 lunged in, but he might get counter. But he might not. He might get lucky, you know. At the same time, um, both of them like to fight in the. Uh, um, they're not gonna fight on the ropes at the same time. They 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 they're not that type of fighters. It's, you know, they uh, like to fight in the um, the pocket. You know what I'm saying? So I think. Um, both of them might be distant fighters, I would say, but at the same time, they can't fight, you know, close, you know, close up, especially Ortiz at the same time when I seen that, uh, 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 Deontay Wilder fight. And, and, uh, I think when, when, when I seen, um, uh, Alexander Pavekin fight, uh, fight, fight Anthony Joshua, that fight was not so much of a, um, inside. They was basically a distant fighter. You know, they was hitting, throwing jabs. But then, um, Pavekin was lunging in with the uh, right hand, I'm thinking. And he just got caught. And he was getting, because, and he almost knocked, knocked, knocked down, uh, knocked down Anthony Joshua. So, this fight right here, to me, will be a, a good fight. And uh, I'm, I'm, I, I, I knew I might not be the only one who wanted to see this fight. You know, I seen some people on the YouTube channel, they was talking about, man, uh, uh, Louis Ortiz will beat. 
uh, uh, Alexander Povetkin. He might be, you know what I'm saying? But you never know. It's a, it take a, a, a one punch it to, to, uh, to knock you out. You know what I'm saying? So what do y'all guys think about this, um, fantasy match, whatever, or, um, uh, match might be in the next year. Maybe, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just saying, hopefully this dude, hopefully this match do be next year, but he might not. Or he might not. not they, these two might not, not, these two might not never ever fight each other. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So, um, what do y'all guys think about this, um, these two fighting each other? Leave a comment at the bottom of my page. Subscribe to my page. Like my page. Hit the bell icon for new notifications, new videos from me. This is JT from Above and Below the Belt. All right, bye.